be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today's video, we're actually going to be showing you the quickest way to use the halftime plugin on your melodies. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right. So let's go ahead and actually um, we're going to go ahead and pull up a software instrument track and then go ahead and use the quick sampler. We're going to pull this up and from here, I'm going to open up the quick sampler and I'm actually going to drag and drop some some type of a loop in here. Now, obviously, we actually have um, some a new loop pack on beatmakingbasics.com. Make sure you go get it, man. It's fire. Don't sleep on this loop pack. Right now, I'm doing a sale on it. The sale is ridiculous. Make sure you grab the package on beatmakingbasics.com. But this is called Trap Piano. I'm going to grab one of these trap piano sounds uh, loops in here. Let's see what we can come up with. All right, cool. So we got that. All right, bet. So what we're going to do is go ahead and lay this down. And um, I'm going to push Command K on here just so you can see. This is musical typing right here. I'm just going to push one note just to play the loop here. Best. So this is our um, our melody we're going to be working with. All right. So this is the melody. Now let's talk about the quickest way to use halftime on the melody. So what we're going to do is go to our audio effects and we're going to go ahead and load up halftime. Halftime is a plugin by Cable Guys. If you search search Cable Guys in Google, you'll see their plugin. Um, basically, this halftime plugin slows this plugin up. So let's just go over how to use it. Um, pretty much, if you click this, it's going to make sure it's armed, it's on, everything like that. Let's just go ahead and play and see how it sounds. So you can just affect the way the loop sounds by either looping it uh, through one bar, two bars, four bars, eight bars, or even down to one sixteenth. Let's see what it sounds like with one sixteenth. Just kind of speeds it up. So you want to kind of play around with some of these. The real thing I want to keep in mind here is this mix option right here. You can actually mix the uh, halftime plug-in in with your beat so you don't have to have this plug-in turned all the way up you could just turn it down and then like blend this in some let's check it out so that uh, that instantly changes the dynamics of the of the uh, sample here it makes it sound a whole lot better it also gives it a little bit more uh, melody to it. So let's just set, check it out again before. This is with it. Cool thing here too is you can actually do low passes and high passes on the actual halftime plugin. Now that just changes up the whole aspect of what this sample originally was. Okay, so this is going this be basically the quickest way to use the halftime plugin on your melodies in Logic Pro 10. Appreciate y'all watching. Again, make sure y'all go to my site, beatmakingbasics.com. Grab a course or some sound packs. Okay, our courses come with hours and hours of content, exclusive content. Um, and each course is going to help you take your beats to the next level. And then we have loop packs that will also help you take your beats to the next level. These loop packs are dope because they're royalty free and it's going to help you eliminate um, beat block. You know what I'm saying? It's something it's going to give you some instant creativity. But anyway, y'all, thanks for watching my video. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel because we do come back to back with bangers. I'll see you in the next one. We're out.